What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more NBA news to bring you guys. This time actually revolving around the New York Knicks and another possible coaching candidate that could be on the on the rise for the Knicks and this time actually revolving around Kenny Atkinson. So this is all being reported by Ian Begley. He's saying that former Nets head coach Kenny Atkinson is expected to interview for the Knicks head coaching position. Atkinson, a former Knicks assistant, is expected to get consideration from several teams which we've obviously known for quite a while at this point now i've said you know i've made a video about this before for those of you who haven't seen i definitely recommend going and checking it out it was actually about tom thibodeau with the new york knicks also being interested in him again i would very much recommend going and checking that video out but just to kind of summarize it up i pretty much said that I think Tom Thibodeau would be an interesting coach for the New York Knicks, but I just don't know if he is the right man. I think that he should definitely be their number two in line, and right now, it should probably be Kenny Atkinson. I think he would be a pretty interesting guy to, you know, go on their team. Now, I said it in that video as well, one of the things, the hardest things about coaching the New York Knicks and coaching big market teams like them is you coaches that always come into the club usually are kind of the ones that do really well are the more experienced ones is because they are the ones that usually are you know they've been under pressure they know the situation and they know how it's been all the ones that have been in you know big market teams like Tom Thibodeau was at the Chicago Bulls that have been under pressure before and can handle it now the reason I'm saying this is because if they were to get a rookie head coach or something like they've done a couple of times now usually it fails because his head coach doesn't have exactly too many ex too much experience or he just can't handle you know handle it in the big the big lights and with all the news and reporting going on in New York and the big market teams etc but where Kenny Atkinson comes into this is he's actually had you know the Brooklyn Nets he's coached them for 4 years and even though they're not really one of the biggest market teams in the NBA until now obviously but they have just you know they're a New York team they're in the spotlight constantly they have Kevin Durant they have Kyrie Irving and when he had D'Angelo Russell he actually got them to the playoffs and they were doing a fine job and he seemed to take all the pressure of being a Nets coach and actually did really well with it and this is why I think he would actually be a really interesting coach for the New York Knicks and may actually be a perfect guy that the Knicks could potentially hire obviously he had Brooklyn Nets for the first two seasons when and they weren't exactly that great and they were rebuilding with the picks that they didn't have because they had like no picks and then they decided to get D'Angelo Russell in etc they had Spencer, uh, Spencer Dinwiddie and Kenny Atkinson works really really well with these young guards you know Spencer Dinwiddie a lot of people think is actually you know a lot older but he's still in his 20s and D'Angelo Russell was also in his early 20s when Kenny Atkinson did take over so Kenny Atkinson was a really, really good head coach when it came to working with his guards and developing these younger guards into, you know, some of the stars that they are now. You know, D'Angelo Russell made the All-Star game a year or so ago. Spencer Dinwiddie's, you know, probably going to be a top three candidate for six man of the year. He's been really, really well with this. And what I think this would be kind of interesting is if the New York Knicks decided to get LaMelo Ball and Chris Paul like they've actually been rumored to try and get. For those of you who didn't know, there's a rumor going around that the New York Knicks are actually trying to get LaMelo Ball and Chris Paul and partner them up. So pretty much what would happen is they would play Chris Paul at point guard and LaMelo Ball at shooting guard on the defensive side of the end. But when it comes to the offense side of the end, or the offensive side of the end, LaMelo Ball would now be the main ball carrier and would be the one that would make all the plays, while then Chris Paul would kind of go play that off-ball type of guard role that he's been, he played a lot at the Houston Rockets, and now obviously at OKC with Dennis Schroeder and Shea Gilgis Alexander. So, again, I've made a lot of videos on this, I highly recommend checking them out. I think it would be a very good idea for them to maybe do this, and maybe Kenny Atkinson could be actually the coach to kind of make this work. Like, I mean, when... Karis Levert went down with injuries. Kenny Atkinson played a lot of a double point guard with you know with uh, D'Angelo Russell at point guard and then Dinwiddie at shooting guard and then I think D'Lo would then go and guard the shooting guard. It actually really worked, which is extremely interesting because D'Lo couldn't guard the shooting guard in the four games that we saw with Steph Curry. So it's actually really weird that he was able to do that with Spencer Dinwiddie for you know 20 to 30 minutes a night. And again. Does that have something to do with Kenny Atkinson? This is all coming all together because 
if he managed to do this with the Brooklyn Nets and was able to do it with D'Angelo Russell and Spencer Dinwiddie, maybe he would be able to also do it with LaMelo Ball and Chris Paul and could be that guy to kind of take in that double point guard backcourt and d definitely experiment with it like the New York Knicks have obviously been wanting to plan and do it. Again, I think this would be really interesting and would be kind of cool to see and something which I don't know if Tom Thibodeau could actually you know, do. I don't think he's ever experimented with a double point guard backcourt. I mean, he had he's had Jimmy Butler as his shooting guard for a lot of the time when he was coaching. He's had a bunch of other players here and there as well, but I don't ever rem remember him actually kind of whipping out a double point guard type of system. But we've seen Kenny Atkinson do it and actually be successful while doing it. I mean, he made the playoffs, and even when they had Levert too, Levert would sometimes go play small forward, and then Dimwitty and uh, D'Angelo Russell would play point guard and shooting guard, and that would be a real small ball lineup, but Kenny Atkinson made it work. That's what I'm trying to say here is Kenny Atkinson made it work, and that's why I think it could be a very interesting thing for the New York Knicks, and if they're full on in on you know, getting LaMelo Ball and Chris Paul, then I think this would be a really, really good move. Now, obviously, what they could do is actually wait for the draft to happen, I do believe, if they want to get a coach. I mean, they could literally just wait for the draft to happen. If they don't draft Lamelo Ball, then they might not want to go ahead with this double backcourt idea of the, you know, the double point guards. But if, you know, again, if they did get Lamelo Ball on draft night, I definitely think they got to, they got to take the risk. And I think it would be extremely interesting. I mean, Chris Paul is so experienced and is something that the New York Knicks need. And again, Kenny Atkinson, a former New York Knicks assistant coach and the Brooklyn Nets head coach, he's been in New York for a long time and has been under pressure pretty much the whole way through it, especially with the Brooklyn Nets. I'm sure he and Chris Paul would be able to figure something out. And getting LaMelo Ball, LaMelo Ball is just going to draw in heaps of numbers. He's going to bring in heaps of numbers. And that's why every team is probably going to want to look to draft LaMelo Ball, even if they have a young starting point guard. You know, that's just what's going to happen because LaMelo Ball is, he's going to be the guy that's going to bring in the numbers. He's going to bring in the seats and he could be like literally the savior of New York alongside maybe Chris Paul and Kenny Atkinson. I just think it would be a really cool experiment and something we definitely need to maybe even see. But of course, the New York Knicks do look like they've actually got Tim, um, you know, uh, Thibodeau as their number one option at the moment, which again, I'm not exactly too sure why. I think it definitely should be Kenny Atkinson. But who knows with the New York Knicks, I think Tom Thibodeau would be a fine coach for them, but he shouldn't be their number one option. He should be their backup plan. Kenny Atkinson, so far, should be their number one option, especially if they want to bring in Chris Paul and LaMelo Ball. I mean, it, he has a double point guard backcourt with D'Angelo Russell and Spencer Dinwiddie, and he did really well with it. Again, he couldn't really do that well with Kyrie Irving and Dinwiddie, but of course, Kyrie hasn't exactly liked any of his coaches or succeeded with any of his coaches except Ty Lue. So, of course, that's probably Kyrie's fault and on Kyrie's end. Probably got nothing to do with Kenny Atkinson. So, again, it furthermore... It furthermore brings my brings my thing to yeah Kenny Atkinson could be the man to bring in that double backcourt duo of Lamelo Ball and Chris Paul. But anyway, to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest NBA news and NBA content. Definitely don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on this? Do you guys think Kenny Atkinson would be the perfect coach for the New York Knicks, or do you guys think he is not going to be the coach? Do you guys think they should hire Tom Thibodeau or maybe a different coach? Should they? Keep the coach that they got now. Again, I definitely would really like to know all your thoughts and opinions on this all down below. And definitely don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL slash long channel. Links for them will all be in the description down below. And check out my podcast as well if you haven't already. Links for that will all be in the description down below. So as I was saying, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.